You know, growing up, I always thought that the hinges on that door were made of wood. Having now grown up, I definitely realize that that's probably made of rusted iron, if nothing else. I was not very smart growing up. Welcome back, folks, one and all, to Let's Play Quest for Glory. When last we left off, we were dealing with uh, this hermit up here, who was kind enough to give us a spell. One that, if I recall correctly, that's not the menu we need, uh, if I recall correctly, shows us, when used, shows us where the ladder is. Yes, that entire time we spent, you know, putzing around with the, uh, just trying to climb up the cliff face, all for naught. Apparently there was an invisible ladder. But, so that we're not, you know, dealing with the bandit. Oh, apparently it doesn't work both ways. Whoops. Okay, well, let us uh, abscond before the uh, hermit realizes that we've left his place open. Not our intention, but still, happens. Walk that way, let's walk up. Oh, and there's the target that we were throwing uh, rocks at earlier. Let us continue. Do, 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 do. Saunter at a really quick crisp pace, as I can't really sing. And we've come back up to Spielberg. Let's head this way. Keep walking down this road. If I recall correctly, you can walk all the way to the end of it, and... I saw those eyes. There was red eyes over there. Yes, walk down to the very end of it. This is the end of the valley. We can't leave until uh, the snow clears. Which, by then, we'll probably have finished the quest. There seems to be a fox in the north of the road. Help me, brave and kind hero! Well, apparently this fox can talk. Please help me! My foot is caught in this cruel trap and I'm in great pain! Surely you can take a minute and set me free! Alright. I know Garen, for a fact, wouldn't let such a creature um, sit there. You spring the trap. In exchange for your kindness, I will give you some advice and a bit of information. First of all, it sometimes pays off to be polite, even if even to rude people. And for amusing tidbit, Baba Yaga put an enchantment on the Baron's daughter some years back. To break the spell, you need to talk to the Dryad. Au revoir, ta-ta for now. Be seeing you. So that was an interesting um, bit. We found a fox who just gave us a bunch of um, plot-related things. Because if you recall, there was a quest uh, looking for the um, the um, Baron's daughter. So that's kind of important. Plot. Lots and lots of plot. Let's go this way. And up. Continue to go up. Up and up and up. Now, before we do anything else, I'm definitely going to save. Because... You definitely want to make certain that you save when you find important plot-related items. Like, you know, that information the fox gave us. And this is, of course, where you insert the obligatory, uh, what does the fox say moment, and hello! There seems to be a bandit sneaking up on us. Have at thee! Uh-oh. I actually don't have a lot of stamina. You were exhausted, so exhausted that everything you do hurts. It be you better get some rest. Death from overwork! That was a little too much for you. You collapsed from the exhaustion. This is what happens when you run out of stamina in the middle of battle. Might also happen if you just do anything in general. Because you will just start, you know, dying. Let us carry on. And it's a good thing we just saved. Alright. Let us continue walking. Oh, hello, that's a source. Move. Keep running. Run away. Escapade. Oh. 
Oh, this is the flower puzzle. If I recall correctly, you need to time it so that when they you get into a good position. Wait for it. Wait for it. And wait for it. You lose the concentration and the spell fades. You will have to practice some more. You're basically supposed to uh, time it so that you can catch the thing in mid-flight. This is something we'll have to do later. Alright, and we found another corner. Let's go this way. Let's go up. And... We have found Baba Yaga's hut. Looking around, you get the feeling that this place isn't very friendly to be. Baba Yaga doesn't want welcome strangers. You have to deal with me before you can get a good hit and dark. Baba Yaga is one tough magic user. If you're stu so stupid that you want to enter, then perhaps we can make a deal. The large skull at the gate seems to stare vacantly at you. You've seen one. You'll, you've seen them all, I'd say. Baba Yaga. Baba Yaga is, is the powerful, most powerful ogress around. If you have any brains, you'll stay away from her. You're some hero if you don't even... You're some hero if you don't know what an ogre is. We know what an ogre is. It's just been a while since we've heard the term ogress. Baba Yaga's hut will squat if you say the rhyme. The hut will squat will squat if you say, Hut so brown, now sit down. Okay, well that's good. Deal. All the other skulls have glowing eyes. But me? Oh no. I don't need lovely glowing eyes. Just open and close the gate. That's all I'm good for. But if you can give me a glowing gem then for my eyes then i will see and then i will let you in the gate basically we're stuck here uh, well is it a deal or isn't it uh sure why not all i ask is a little gem or jewel that glows in the dark you're a big hero so good so go find one you see this is the only way we're going to be able to progress and uh, deal with baba yaga until then this gate is closed so let us continue. Oh, and this is the part of the valley that we've been to already. Hello, goblins. Let us leave you alone, because I just record. I just recall I don't have stamina. Fighting them is a bad plan. We need to leave. It is time to leave. Run away! Let's go back! Oh, he's a little... Move! Go down, go down that way! Hey, we found the centaur! Hello, centaur! Hello, centaur! Centaur stops raking as you approach. Hi! Don't mind me. Don't mind us. Let's go this way. Now, let's go... De let's go and, uh... Get some rest and some food at the inn. We re-enter. And there is a... Uh, uh, huh. I forget his name. And there is the goon. Name. Otto von Goon. Okay. You must have a very bad memory if you have to re-ask me again what uh, the goon's name is. No, not particularly. Just, uh... I don't really run into him very often, so I forget his name. His name is Otto. Let us go before he does anything that causes that thing to fly at us. Let us enter the inn. Welcome, welcome, traveler, to the Hero's Tale Inn. I am Shamim, at your service. You you may, may you find what you seek here. I believe this is uh, Shamin. He is a kata. Very good food, very good drink, finest in town. 
Sit, rest, and you'll be served by my Shima. Let's talk to you. Room. Very nice room. Very soft beds. Finest in town. Only five silver a night. And then did food. Very good food. Very good trick. Finest in town. Sit, rest, and you will be served by my Shmir, as I've said already. Let's talk about merchant. My friend Abdullah is recovering from the robbery last week. He should be in around supper time. This game does in fact keep track of day-night, as we saw in the last episode. Robbery. Alas, the brigands stole all of Abdullah's wealth and my own when they robbed his caravan. Now I'll be forced to stay in this wet, cold land. Brigands. I know little about them except they must be wealthy now. Wealth. I hoped to return to my homeland with the profits um, Abdullah, Shima, and I would make from the caravan. Now I fear we will remain here unless someone deals with the brigands and returns our stolen items. Shapir. The land of the golden sands and tall mountains in the city. Um, a city of tall buildings and winding streets. A place where a kata can bask in the sun as they sell things in the bazaar. He is in fact a kata. It is our homeland place where we belong. Let's ask him about the caravan. In my homeland, a caravan is the only way to travel from city to city. Let's ask him about something else. Uh, merchant. I am Shamim, a poor unfortunate, forced to seek in, seek a fortune in a cold land away from his homeland and, his, and my kata people. Ask him of his homeland. We live far to the south in the desert lands of Shapir. Someday we may return there. The Kata. We are a race of desert dwellers and wanderers of the endless sands. And we've already asked about Shapir. Uh, Shima. Shima is my beloved, and she can cook and... and and she can cook and keep an inn as few others. When she dances, it is true magic. If we ever return to Shapir, then she will again dance. Now, we've been told that we can get food. Take a seat near the fire. I am Shima. Allow me to serve you, wanderer from afar. Do you wish food or drink? We have very good stew of newborn lamb along with honey chicken from a mere three silver. Coffee is included at the price of the meal. And I do, in fact, believe we will be taking her up on this offer as you may buy yourself a meal. You pay Shima for a meal. And she saunters back with musical flair. Let's, we can talk to him from here, which is a good thing. The town. Spielberg is a sad place for an innkeeper, for few travels visit because of the brigands. They keep beating that nail on the head. Okay, we've already... Okay, nope. This is a cold land for Akata. The sheriff. He comes in with his wife sometimes for food. He is very wise and generous. Otto. There is no end to the food that that one can eat. Given his prodigious size, I would not be surprised. And... Let's see. And that said, now we just wait. She continues to saunter out with musical flair. I bring you that which you ordered. May it please and satisfy you.
you know, for its for its time and its age, it was this was very good music and appealing and stuff. The food looks unusual, but smells surprisingly good. The food tastes surprisingly good, and the drink is delicious. We have eaten. And once more, saunters out with musical flair. Permit me to clear the table for you. And she does, in fact, do so. I would need, I'm going to need to check the time of day, because if I recall... It's this button. Time. It's mid-morning on day two. Yeah, we're, we're barely... This is the morning, so we don't actually need to uh, rest in the inn tonight uh, for the moment. So let us head back out. And that closes with, you know, thunderous flare. Let's go this way. Let's go back out. Let's continue this direction. I know there's probably a few other places I could ch check out, but given the circumstances, I figure, you know, just putz around for a little bit. Because who knows, we might run into some interesting things. Let's go up this way. All right, let's head up the road, because there's one spot that I haven't, you know, shown you guys yet, and I believe it is that giant castle in the distance. Ask the guard his name. My name is Carl! Carl! <laughs> Ask about the castle. This is the castle of Baron Stefan von Spielberg. His job. The stable keeper could use a strong young person to clean, keep, help clean out the stable. I completely butchered that entire sentence because I look like I have, you know, a pencil in my nose. It doesn't pay much, but it's good, honest work. If you would like to take the job, come on in. Ask about the guards. Baron von Spielberg lost most of his guards trying to defeat Baba Yaga. He bum-rushed from the front, didn't he? Yes, apparently he did. He thought that was a smart plan. It usually works. Apparently not this time. Okay. Let's ask about the stables. Cleaning up after the horses is a good way to build up your muscles. And this is a great way to build up your strength. Especially if you're a warrior. Valley. Spielberg Valley was once a prosperous and peaceful land before the Baron lost his family. Now the Baron will not leave his castle and does not know the ruin his land has come to. I think someone needs to kick him in the ass and remind him. What was that? Uh, nothing. Nothing. Monsters. There are many foul creatures stuck in the forest since the Baron has few guards to protect the valley from them. Get no response as I attempted to talk to the castle in the background. Graveyard. Baba Yaga cursed the graveyard such that no one can, uh, that not even the dead can rest at night. One cannot go near the graveyard after dark without risking his own life unless one uses protection. So many things in life could use protection. Just remember that. What are you talking about? Nothing. Not referring to anything at all. Protection. There is an unguent you can purchase from the healer which protects against the dead that walk b by night. Baba Yaga. This powerful ogress is the cause of all of Baron's misfortunes. She is a vile creature who knows such who knows much magic. Curse. The Baron ordered Baba Yaga to leave and she first cursed the graveyard. When he sent only the baronal guard after her, only their captain returned to the castle. The captain spoke, Hear me, O mighty baron, thou hast angered me, and this, and thus you are cursed. All that you value shall you lose. All that you treasure shall be taken from you, in a strange voice. I'm thinking he was possessed. The captain then dissolved into a puddle of sticky blackness. Yep, very much possessed. Hut. Baba Yaga has her hut in the northwest. 
It is a very dangerous place, and many baronial guards have been lost there. It probably explains a lot of the skulls. <laughs> okay, let's scroll all the way up. Um, brigands. There is now too many, too few guards to take out the brigands, which rob our people and drive away the traitors. <laughs> they hide somewhere near the edge of the valley. The brigands are protected by a magic user, and they're and they have a shrewd leader. Brigand leader, leader of the brigands, uh, must be a good strategist. He has organized and led many raids, which result in much treasure loss and little loss on the part of the brigands. Without the leader. The brigands would soon flee. Warlock. Not much is known about him, but he seems to be um, to use more magic potions and powders than spells. Treasure. Many merchants have been robbed by the brigands. There is a merchant in town who could tell you more about his robbery. Let's uh, open... Okay, now that we've, you know, gotten all the dialogue out of him, just a minute while I raise the gate. Thank you very much. Let's go this way. And this is Cashel Spear Spielberg. We go around here. Everything's all good. Now, let's go talk. Uh, let's go up to these doors. The doors are guarded by Friedrich and Pierre. You can tell by their name tags. They're wearing name tags? Neat. Let us talk to them. The castle. This is ca the castle of Baron Stefan von Spielberg. Daughter. The Baron's daughter has been gone for years. Name. My name is Pierre. Friedrich's over there. You don't talk much. Barracks. The barracks are off to my right, but you have no business go to going in there. The bald spot. Don't get me mad. I'm not talking to you. I think we pissed him off. Baron. No one enters the castle without the Baron's permission. The Baron sees no one. All right, well, have fun. Have fun with that. And, as you can see, this is the horse stable. And, stable the hand. You looking for some work? You know what, sure. Good. Come in here and take the rake. isn't above a hard day I mean an honest day's work but it does tire him out you don't get paid to rest get to work now okay fine okay done okay get over here the stable hand hands you some coins and says, Now you're five silver richer. Alright. And now we walk this way. This job is very much repeatable. You can do it for a lot. Ah, uh, this is my, the fa my favorite part of the game. We're gonna let him finish his thing. Ah, uh, the drill instructor. Ah, uh, yes. The drill instructor. Let's save. Let us go talk to the drill instructor. If you are addressing me, sir, you must respect me enough to address me through my face. And we walk over to do so. Weapon master. I am the weapon master. Expert swordsman. Trainer. Sword. The sword is the finest of all weapons. It requires equal measure of skill and strength. Skills. The skills of the sword are thrust, sling, parry, 
and dodge. The timing of such actions are critical to the success of the fighter. Practice. Practice is the way to refine and improve one's skills. Friendship. Please do not bore me, young adventurer. Ask me about something more interesting. I get no response to the ground behind him. Fighting. Fighting is both an art and a skill. It is a skill that uses the muscular strength and the agility to control. It is an art of outwitting and outmaneuvering an opponent. I am, of course, a skilled artiste. Do you fight? Sword. Armor. You didn't actually do that. I never use a shield. It gets in the way of my agile do uh, agility and dodging. It is best used by those who are strong, but not swift and agile. You, are, you definitely require a shield. I am a skilled teacher as well as a skilled, a skilled fighter. However, the combat style I teach relies on subtle alternation of, of strike and parry. As I observe that you do not have the skill to use parry, I would, you would receive no benefit from my lessons. Hint! You can't really do this, um, train with this guy unless you're a fighter. Practice. Practice is, a, is the way to um, hone and improve one's skills. Brigands. The brigands fight remarkably well for, uh, for Riffraff, who have not had the benefit of my training. They are cowards who like to hide behind their shields, but I must admit they do, they do that well. Should you find yourself face to face with one of the brigands, I suggest you mirror their techniques. Use dodge or parry until your opponent lowers his shield to attack. Then strike before he can get his spear into attack position. It's actually solid advice when fighting against the brigands. Okay, the castle. This is the castle of Baron von Spielberg. I am the best weapon master of this castle. Baron. The Baron had the wisdom to recognize the greatness when I presented myself. Thus, he made me weapon master. Bernard. The Baronet had some minor talent with weapons, but he was too impatient. If he had just li he had but listened and learned what I had taught, he would never have been lost. Elsa. A bright child, poor girl. I used to watch, she used to watch me practice daily and question me constantly. Pity she wasn't born a boy. Ah, uh, such is the thing of uh, medieval nobility. The girl rarely got taught how to fight. Oh, and I skipped over your dialogue. I apologize for that. She would have made a talented swordsman if I had trained her. I could. I could not demean myself to teach a mere girl, of course. And, unfortunately, sexism was rampant in this medieval kingdom. Guards. You will find them very skilled in fighting. After all, I am the one who trained all the guards at this castle. Let us move. And town. Please do not bore me, young adventurer. Okay. Um, it's enough of that. Can we actually pay you? I am a skilled teacher as well as a skilled fighter. However, my combat skills I teach. Yep. He's basically telling you point blank. He can't teach you because you are not. You lack the fighter skills. So, when we come back, folks, I will be um. I will be moving on from this point because unfortunately I can't make use of his abilities. He cannot teach me. Garen is in fact incapable. Of learning the skills of a fighter. At least from him. There's more to fighting than just being able to wield a blade. But that's neither here nor there. I will catch you next time, folks. And I will see you then. Later.